Okay. All right. Welcome back. We are playing one uh, another match of uh, modded magic goodness here. Uh, I'm playing the humans deck against the ninja deck. Uh, battalion. Whenever bomber corps, uh, bomber corps at least and. Wow, I can't speak. Whenever Bombacore and at least two other creatures attack, Bombacore deals one damage to target creature or player. Nice bit of early game control. Uh, Vorjek Halberdiers. Uh, whenever Vorjek Halberdiers and at least two other creatures attack, Vorjek Halberdiers gain uh, first strike until end of turn. Plus, it has a lot of value. It's a two cost, three two. Very cool. Gold Knight Commander is a four-cost human cleric soldier, uh, with two, uh, which is a two-two. And whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, creatures you control gets plus one plus one until end of turn. Very nice. There are some uh, trickery, which works very well with this. And here we have a Return to Ravnica card, a Celestia card, which is rootborn defenses. Three cost, populate, and creatures you control are indestructible this turn. The reason that um, the the sequences of these two um uh statements here populate and or statements i guess a bi uh, effects are that um you get another guy and this guy is indestructible if it was creatures you control are indestructible this turn and populate then the the populated guy would not be indestructible so that's pretty nice anyways i think i'm going to keep this hand it, i would like to have a have had a one drop but I don't, so uh, what can you do? And actually, I think the Battalion cards are cool, but they're actually some of the weaker cards in this deck. Uh, most of the other cards are a little bit better, the Abbotson Restored cards and so on. So, yeah. And I drew the Increasing Devotion, which is a 5-cost, put 5 one 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 white human creature tokens onto the battlefield. If increasing, uh, increasing Devotion was cast from the graveyard, put 10 of those tokens onto the battlefield instead, and that cost um, 9. So, yeah. Forget the name of that card, but we have something similar in... Uh, have something similar in the... I think in, in the Peacekeeper's deck. All right. So he's able to uh, to uh, get in there with the wandering uh, tormented soul, and um, yeah, is that the card art a little different? I think it is. Might be, might not be. Demir infiltrator, nice. It has transmute as well, so you're able to uh, to trade it for another two cost. Uh, able to sack this guy or or discard it. Basically, that's what transmute means, and and uh, for three mana, you're able to go into your library and get another two cost spell uh, instead of this one. If you think this one has too little value for you late in the game, so I think I'm gonna get the well, I think I'm gonna get the halberdiers down because that uh, that's gonna be able to both block and kill the infiltrator and swing in for more damage than the bomber corpse and um, or core. And um, as soon as I get the opportunity to swing in and trigger a battalion, I'll be able to kill off his tormented soul so he doesn't have unblockable. Well, except for the Demir Infiltrator, which in this case, like, the Halberdiers didn't do too much for me. Because uh, I'm a bit of an idiot and don't think about the things that I'm saying. What do we have here? Skull Snatcher, and it has Ninjutsu. So it's a two cost two one. Uh, whenever Skull Snatcher deals combat damage to target uh, to to a player, exile up to two target cards from that player's graveyard. What he could have done there is actually played it for its ninjutsu cost, uh, popped the tormented soul back to his hand, and uh, gotten the Skull Snatcher into play attacking, and then he could uh, just drop. Well. I guess he couldn't drop it this turn, but next turn he would be able to drop that guy, uh, drop the Tormented Soul again. Uh, this is for next turn, so that's pretty interesting that it has haste, because that means that it triggers both... Um, uh, I'm not going to swing in here. Uh, that means that it uh, triggers both um, abilities of, uh, or the both battalions. Uh, next turn if he's not able to kill off any of my guys. Ink Fathom Witch is a 2 cost, 1-1 one, one with fear and each unblockable creature becomes 4-1 until end of turn if you 
use its abilities here. That fucking sucks. I need to kill that stat. Dude, man, what the fuck? Oh shit. Oh shit. Um, yeah, and, and that means that I pretty much have to attack. Wow, that's pretty nuts as well. Okay, uh, if only I had the mana for it, I would uh, use Rootborn defenses when I swing in, but um, no such luck. Uh, again, you'll notice I'm wa running way too many cards. There are 10 extra cards, and that's plus uh, plus the lands that comes into, or, or that the, the game adds. Uh, and that's because, uh, for some reason, the game doesn't save my builds. Um, and I didn't want to fiddle around with it too much. Just wanted to show you the deck. But I would have taken this guy out. He's good. He's, or he's actually more than good. He's really, really great, but he's not a human. And um, this deck is really cool when you have a, a just like a bunch of humans swinging in. So, one point of damage to, I'm guessing, this guy. Could kill this guy. No, I'm going to kill this guy here. Now this has first strike, so he has to. If he wants to block, he has to uh, use his skull snatcher on the bomber corpse or core. Next turn, I can uh, cast increasing devotion. Oh, nice! That means that I get to swing in uh, for a bunch next turn. Or actually, I get to swing in with these guys, and oh, actually, maybe I should um, Gold Knight Commander and then Increasing Devotion. Yeah. Now, that's something. See, that's pretty good. That's actually very, very good. What do we have here? Uh, Riot Ringleader. Okay. When Riot Ringleader attacks human uh, creatures you control, gets plus one plus zero until end of turn. That's not bad either. I think. Let's see what happens. Um, he might kill off my bomb corpse. Core, not corpse. Kill this this guy. And um, yeah, he might block this, even though. Holy bananas. All right, hold on. Okay, and I'm back, and that was the weirdest phone call ever, but, um, oh well. All right. Uh, I can pretty much kill him next turn, um, unless he uh, lays a creature that's able to block my guys. But I kind of want this uh, increasing devotion. Oh. Yeah, he's not gonna lay a creature, or what is it? This is the weakest, uh... Shut the hell up out there. Alright. I'm in the kitchen right now, so I'm much closer to the main street uh, that we live close by. Alright, let's try this on for size. And... Yeah, not bad. This guy is actually, like, this This combination is actually completely nuts. And he's not able to block a single one of them. Uh, if I were to swing in more than just this time, this guy would pretty much just completely slaughter my opponent. And bam. Well, thanks for watching. I'm Multimeteor, and this was... Um, this was a weird, uh, weird little uh, video. So <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. Later.